Yeah, well, I guess I'm ready. Ready. Hey, I'm Sally Lewis at CES 2012. OnStar actually has a way for you to make money with your own car. Welcome to CES. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. All right, so OnStar, you guys know what they do. I've given you a full-on demo of their uh, mirror system, right? So you guys are announcing a lot of, a couple of different things, actually. First up, you've opened up your API so people can develop for your system. Exactly. So as you know, we now have 6 million customers in North America and 400,000 in China. And what we said is, instead of us developing um, services for them, why not have them tell us what they want? So developers can now contact us at developers at OnStar.com and we'll give them access to an API that will help them to develop something for the cloud, the cloud platform that we've built that services our 6 million customers. That's awesome. I mean, you can just imagine the amount of things that you could do with the system. We actually announced the first partner. So one of the first partners that we have is a company called Relay Rides. Relay Rides is a peer-to-peer -peer car sharing service. So what they do is, instead of the zip cars where you go and uh, rent a, a fleet vehicle, you can actually enroll your own car. So if you have a car that sits idle somewhere in a parking lot while you're working during the day, you just enroll it at Relay Rides. You can earn money with your car. There's people that earn like 250 bucks with their car every day. Seriously? The borrower goes in, they look at, uh, maybe I want a Volt, maybe I want a Suburban. Oh. Um, I'll take that for two hours, they walk up to the car, they rent the car, they walk up to the car, open it up, get in, and uh, take off. Come back, lock it, and it's in the same spot. Now, if it's not a GM car, they still have to put hardware in there. So a little device that you can, where you get a swipe card, and then you, when you walk up, it's, you swipe and it unlocks the car. But it is still possible. Does it have to have the rear view system? Uh, uh, no, so that, that's for non, that, that's for, so what, what happens now is, if you have a GM car with OnStar, what we did is we gave Relay Rides the API to our remote link mobile application. And what they did is they took some of the elements out of it. So for instance, uh, door unlocks, navigation. So what now happens is, and we can show it to you in a second here on our phone, is essentially you walk up, you're the borrower, you download the application, you d d identify the location of your vehicle, it, there's walking directions to your car, you walk up, you unlock it with your phone, get in and drive off. No hardware needs to put it, be put in the car, no extra cost there, and it's a simple and safe solution for everybody. The borrower gets money, uh, the, bor the borrower gets the car, the lender gets, gets the money. So really, really cool. Very, very nice. All right, so let's show it exactly. And uh... So this is what it looks like. So this is our remote link mobile app, and there's a feature in there with uh, door unlocks, there's a feature in there with um, navigation, so you can actually send navigation to the vehicle. And those two features we gave to Relay Rides. And here's a demo version of what their application will look like. So number one, I just I booked a OnStar CES Volt. I can find the location of the vehicle. Unfortunately, it's in Detroit, so I have to go a bit. <laughs> um, I could get walking directions or directions to the vehicle. And ultimately, when I walk up to the car, I just tap unlock. It unlocks the vehicle. I get in. I drive off. And when I come back, I just place it in the same position, press lock, and off I go. That is pretty awesome. And you also announced something with a car, 4G LTE in a car? So last year at CES, we actually showed 4G LTE in a Buick LaCrosse. And it was an initial show of what could you do when you have broadband in the car. Now this year, we've got two Chevrolet Volts, one in the Verizon booth, one in our booth, and we have a full encompassing experience for all passengers. You can actually, we have three screens in the car, so imagine you're driving along with your kids in, the, in your car, both of them want to watch something different and they want, something, want to watch something that they have at home on your hard drive. So you can actually stream a film to the car, you can go to YouTube, stream stuff to the vehicle, and everything is enabled through broadband, so you basically have an, a smartphone on wheels. Uh, you can play Angry Birds in the car, which was one of the things that most I am so did. doing that. And at the same time, the parents that are sitting in front can actually do things like home energy management. So as you're driving and you know uh, you want to fire up your house at home because you're going to get home soon, you just hit that button, the house gets warm, and when you arrive, everything's okay. So using the power of broadband in the car as if you were driving a live browser. Very, very cool. Thank you so much for the update. Uh, you guys, if you read the blog, you actually knew about this before the video, and VJ described it, because all of that is a geekbeat.tv. We, we covered it a few days ago, but I wanted you to hear it from the man himself.
Thank you guys for joining us. Geekbeat.tv slash CES 2012 is where we keep everything related to all the awesome gadgets and technology that's coming out in 2012. Bye. You know when you come to the trunk of your car with an arm full of groceries and gadgets, you're so going to appreciate the 2013 Escape. It has hands-free power lift gate. How awesome is that? You use the intelligent access key and all you have to do is put your foot under the bumper and the power lift gate will automatically open. Easy access to the cargo area. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.